Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Today we are trying the brand new, it said it was brand new, the brand new Barbecue Bacon King. Now the Bacon King's been out for a little bit, we didn't try it when it came out. I don't know why, we just did the double. So the Big King is, no not Big, well isn't the Big King the name of the one thing? What the hell is this called? Bacon Big Bacon King? Bacon King in itself is just a double cheeseburger. It's definitely bigger than a normal cheeseburger. It might even be like a double Whopper. It might even be like a double Whopper. Cause like look at the um, mm. circumference of that. Yeah. It's quite large. Beefy burger, that is for sure. Lots of cheese, like eight strips of bacon on it. But this is the new barbecue version of that. They didn't quite have me at bacon. They had me at barbecue. I love me barbecue bacon. <laughs> This bad boy clocks in at over six dollars for this burger. It was six oh nine just for the burger. So uh, when you compare it to other six dollar burgers, we'll see. But uh, you know, I'm very curious to see if Burger King can pull off a six dollar burger. Look, everyone, no fork. She's eating like a normal <laughs> red blooded American. Normal human being mm -hmm, who eats like that. <laughs> Bottoms up, friends. Tastes like a double cheeseburger. It's underwhelming for a $6 burger. Like it tastes like a normal Burger King burger, but I'm gonna tell you something. Ready for it? It tastes almost exactly like the McJordan burger. It, uh, it's during the Olympics, the dream team. Remember the, uh, the Olympic dream team with all the- And this is the part where tragedy strikes. Our audio cut out. I will not leave you hanging. I will carry on. This is the part where I talk about how the bacon was a little underwhelming while there was plenty of it. It wasn't super high quality and it tasted a little like baked beans. Just saying. And then here I'm bitching about the price point, which was valid because the fact of the matter is this is a $6 burger. And when you compare that to places like the Wall Burger, Smash Burger, Five Guys, or anywhere else that offers kind of a next level burger, you're gonna have to compare these because the price is up there. And while this was a robust Burger King burger, it still at the end of the day was a Burger King burger and maybe one on steroids, but still just a Burger King burger. When the value meal tipped the scales at around $11 each, $22 for two value meals. That's uh, hitting the wall a little harder than I would have thought at old BK. And this is the part where we broke it down into scoring because we decided to divide flavor plus quality because they were vastly different. While this was a big, large, beefy, robust BK burger, the flavor was there, the bacon underwhelming in actual texture, the barbecue sauce was good, as was the cheese. So this is a four out of five Burger King burger. Now for value, Okay, now this is a solid one out of five. No joke, because when a value meal runs a single person $11, if you have a family of three or four, you're not gonna get out of here for less than 40 bucks. That's way too much for Burger King. I understand they're often a little bit more with this one, but when push comes to shove and you compare it to other six, seven, eight dollar burgers at places, it's just, they're not on par. So it's a hit and miss in those regards. And that's basically what I said. Give or take some corny jokes and some F-bombs, you know, other than that, pretty much what I said. And then this is the part where I beg you guys to like, favorite, even though I don't know what that is, subscribe and comment and comment a lot because YouTube thinks the more we talk, the more you like my videos. So if you say hi 15 times, apparently they're like, this guy really likes this video. And also to hit the notifications button, that little bell down there that YouTube seems to make you want to subscribe again, because just because you subscribe the first time doesn't mean you actually want to see the content. You know, in order to see the content, you got to hit that little button again. So hmm, it's, it's a quirky system. So this, this is the part where I beg for you guys to do that. And I thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing and all that other stuff and let you know that our next video coming out later this week is our Jimmy John's versus Subway in the Italia sub department. That should be a lot of fun, so thank you all so much. Like I said there, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and as always, this is when I do my little and then I disappear. Bye-bye. I know this was a bit odd, but I figured, you know what? When life gives you lemonades, you know what you do.
You take that little lemon, you punch it right in stupid little lemon face, and then you go ahead and do an audio dub over. You know, as the saying goes. <laughs>